got to learn to slow down and be patient. So, like the great Henry Ford said, there isn't a person anywhere that isn't capable of doing more than they think they can. So true. Uh, but I think I'm, I'm one of those people that is like the opposite. I keep thinking I could do way more than I can actually do, <laughs> at least at this moment. Uh, take my training plan, for example. As today, I was sitting at the table and I signed up for a 50, I didn't sign up, no, I thought about signing up for a 50K ultra run for charity later in the year. And uh, my wife was like, uh, I don't think that's a good idea. But in my mind, I'm like, why would I not do that? That'd be awesome. I need to, I need to do these big events. But then like an hour ago, I realized like just last week, that I told myself that I have to slow down and start from the basics and work myself up. And here am I, or here I am, trying to sign up for a 50K in the middle of all that, instead of just staying the course, being patient, just trusting the process. So today, in this video, I am going to use you guys as my accountability partners because I'm going to uh, talk about what my friend told me to start doing to get ready to qualify for the 2023 Boston Marathon. So uh, yeah, so let's go to my calendar and I'm going to force myself to write my weekly workouts, not my weekly workouts, my daily workouts for this week. Let's go. Okay, here we are in my bedroom with the calendar. Lights. As you see, it says April. We are going to get rid of that. It's not April anymore. It is now May. Okay, let me uh, get this camera going because... My furry homeboy is sitting right there and I want to make sure he's filmed. Stand by. So in case you're wondering, I um, used two cameras. I used a GoPro and I used this one here. And every now and then I'll forget the SD card in the computer after I'm done editing it. So that's what I'm doing here. Voila, working. Okay, there's Karma Boy. You can see him. Oh my gosh. 9% battery life. Oh my god. So, this isn't gonna work. Oh well. Let me turn this off. Well, I guess we're stuck with one camera today. The joys of, uh, he calling himself a YouTuber. Uh, fresh calendar to get this thing going. So I uh, actually have a friend uh, from the LA Roadrunners. He is the head coach, David Levine, an amazing person leaders, and a very accomplished sure running happening. coach. Yeah, let's pace leaders. Let's lead them out. We're going to the start line. Uh, he said, if you ever need help, let me know. So I let him know. And he, I said, I want to qualify for Boston in 2023. What can I do? And uh, he asked a few numbers, what, the, what, have, I, what have I been doing? Um, stuff like that, my heart rate, things, you know, things that a running coach would need to know. Uh, so I guess I've only been doing like 40 miles at the most per week over these past year. And uh, so he wants to move me up to like 60 per week eventually. But he thinks it's, start, it's smart if we start from scratch from the beginning and maybe work up from like 5Ks, 10Ks, halves, then full. And uh, so that means I can't really put any long mileage these days. I, he says, 
just a few days a week, maybe three or four days at the most, no more than like six miles or 10K, uh, which is agonizing for me because I love doing long miles. And he also said at a very slow conversational pace, zone two, low zone three, something like that, just easy miles, which I'm like, ugh. But, you know, I have to listen. I gotta do what he's gotta say. I gotta, I gotta do what he says. If I want his advice, I gotta trust the process and just go along with it. So, let's get the calendar and we'll mark down what days I have to do this week. Gotta get a pen first. Sharpie. We are on Monday, March, May second, Monday. I guess what we'll do is I'll, I'll keep my strength training. To Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Just get them all knocked out, right? What do you think? Three days? What do you think? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think should the strength training be. Uh, so he so he suggests that I do uh, legs, core, and then one day of everything. So three days of strength training. Legs, one day, core, another day, and uh, the third day, just do everything. So first day, we're going to do legs. That's going to be Tuesday. Okay, so tomorrow I guess I'll, I'll put in uh, six miles. We'll do a six, e- a, a easy six miler tomorrow. And so when I do the gym thing, I actually run to the gym and I run back, and that's two miles there, two miles back. So that'll be my running for that for those days. So on Wednesday, we will do core, core work. Again, that's another two miles there, two miles back. Thursday, we'll do everything. Lower upper body, lower no upper body, back, uh, chest, stuff like that. So far, I got about, uh, let's see, six miles, four miles, four, four, so that's 12, plus six, that's uh, 12 miles altogether up till Thursday. Friday uh, will be a rest day. And Saturday, we'll do another six miles. It doesn't look very uh, impressive to me, but let's take a look. Sunday, today's off day, six miles, legs, uh, core strength, and upper body strength, and a rest on Friday, and six miles. That's my training plan for this week. I will uh, give updates probably uh, every week, of course. This is gonna. This is a very messy video. I know that. Uh, so kudos to you for watching all the way. I appreciate that. <laughs> if you watched this way, I apologize. Uh, this has been a very busy day. I had some other stuff I had to take care of, um, and I pretty much got to this the last minute of the day. So, yeah. If you're here, hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. Uh, we will. Uh, I'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you for watching. And I am Anthony, reminding you. Keep running for your best life. See you next time.